speaking on why he considered Governor Nasiru Erfai as his political mentor, Honorable Yusuf Ahmed Daura, who is vying for membership position of Kanda State House of Assembly under the platform of All Progressive Congress, APC, said it was not only the uncommon development of Governor Nasiru Erfai in Kanda State that motivated him into politics, but the governor's desire to uplift the youth. The work is not just about the infrastructural de developments, you know. The work is in, you know, uplifting the youth, putting them where they deserve, trying to make them understand, you know, get to know their potentials. These are what, you know, these, these are the things that motivated me, because for me sitting down, I sat down before I, you know, ran, uh, ran for this office. So uh, there was a little time I sat down looking over like the way he has been dealing with uh, all this thing is about promoting youth, 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 youth. Look at look around him. Look at look look at his cabinet. There are a lot of youth there. So these are the things that you know he really wants youth to come over. Like at least hundred of believe that for one to represent the people at the political level, he or she must get involved with the people at the grassroots, which he said he has achieved it through the legacy of Governor Nasiru Erfai. I believe that, you know, getting to the root is the answer. Because if you are not being with them at the grassroots level and know what they feel and how they feel, you wouldn't know. So you need to get involved. You need to go there, sit with them, engage with them. That's when you get to know their problem. Because if you don't do that, how do you know their problem for you to represent them? I'm a representative of, of the youth. I came from a constituency. And that constituency is a very large constituency in community too. I've engaged in several part of them. I've met with them, the trash school riders, motorcycles, everything. I've discussed with them, we've come up with ways on how we see if we're given the chance, get them there together with my brother. Um, then I'm at Erifai because we've been together with him. It's something like I'm seeing it for the first time now. I've, we've been together with him from day one. And whatever good things I'm, I'm doing is the same thing. It has the same kind of mindset we have. We've come from the same school of thought. His father is like a father to me because Bello Erifai is a brother to me. And me being a brother to him, even though I might not be a biological son to him, but I'm a son to him politically. So these are the things, these are the way forward we need to think on how to uplift our people from poverty. If you're not there, you will know the problem. So I believe these are the things, all the things that motivate, motivated me to be there and not even me. Adding his voice to the trending issue of Muslim, Muslim presidential ticket of our Progressive Congress, APC, Hondro Yusuf said Nigerians needed to rise above religious sentiment. He stressed that Political success will be achieved through game of number, but not on religious and ethnic sentiment. Obviously, what I would say is, at least we need to rise above religion. We are one. We are one Nigerians. So if we are still thinking in a religious perspective, this has been the problem, our main problem. So what we needed to do, at least we need to rise above that. Let's look at the people there. It's politics. So get the candidate, and there is a different political parties. Everyone can participate. So if just about the games of numbers, so everything number you get, so it's, if, if you are the, the overall, you'll be the winner. So these are things that I don't think that Muslim Muslim issue features should be an issue. What I believe that is, okay, look at what the governor has done in our state of United States. Talking about Muslim Muslim figures, it's about who is going to provide service to his people, render service to his people. If we're talking about still Muslim Muslim figures, look at the just concluded election in Osu. The winner there, the opposition winner from the PDP. They use the same Christian Christian ticket. So why are we complaining about Muslim Muslim ticket when a state like also has a PDP too, a state like also has a Christian Christian ticket when is the major population of them, the Muslim and Christian are almost 40-60%. So these are things, at least it's the people that decide at the end. We, you as journalists, is that not you is our people there ranting on social media, they are not the people to decide. 
So they can rise and shout whatever they do, but trust me, it's about game of numbers. If you play your cards well, you get the numbers. Get a good candidate, you sell him. If it's not a bad, if you put in a, a bad candidate, it's not, that is not sellable. So how do you expect to win? So Hondo Yusuf, Ahmed Dara advised Nigerians to avoid bringing religious and ethnic sentiment into politics as it would truncate the success of 2023 general election in Nigeria. I am Augustus Oche Ifene, Delegate TV, Abuja.